Now, what one can do is if I want uh, to eliminate the harmonics, see all these filters are the AC side filters to eliminate the harmonics or minimize the harmonic components in the current. So, the dominant harmonic is the most dominant harmonic. What is the most dominant? 11th. Please note we are using a 12 pulse converter in practice. So, the 11th harmonic is the dominant harmonic. So, I can use single tune filters for some dominant harmonics say 11th, I can use 1 for 11th, 1 for 30. See it will work for only one frequency that is why it is called single tuned. So, I can use it for one dominant frequency. If I want for another dominant frequency the next one is 13th, I should use one more single tune filter. Then the next one is 23rd, one more. 25th one more, but there are infinite number of harmonics. So, we will not be using infinite number of filters. We will use a few single tuned filters for a few dominant harmonics and for the rest, we will use one single filter which is a damped filter which will try to uh, in fact uh, uh, filter out all the remaining harmonics. Okay. Now, instead of that what one can do is instead of a single tuned filter, we can also have what is known as a double tuned filter which will act to minimize two frequencies. So, it will do the job of two single tune filters. Okay. So, I can have instead of two single tune filters, one double tuned filter. Now, I will just give the circuit diagram. Uh, we will then see how it works. So, double tune filter is having a circuit like this. So, obviously, there should be two inductors and two capacitors, but how the two inductors and capacitors are arranged is like this. So, there is also a resistance. So, it is a two terminal uh, device uh, where I have two capacitances uh, C1 and C2 and two inductances L1 and L2 and suppose this resistance is R. So, I can as well have this arrangement. Uh, this is what we have already studied single tune filter suppose I have R1, L1, C1. R2, L2, C2. This is uh, two single tuned filters. Now, instead of this arrangement, we can have what is known as a double tuned filter. Now, I mean, there may be some reason, there should be some reason for using a double tuned filter instead of two single tuned filters. Single tuned filters are obvious. I mean why one should use a double tuned filter. Okay. Do you see any advantage? Now, when a filter, suppose I take a single tuned filter, it is subjected to impulse. So, which uh, element is subjected to impulse? See, I have an inductor and a capacitor in series, forget for the time being resistance. <coughs> So, which among the two is subjected to impulse? Inductor, but it is the inductor which is subjected to the impulse. Now, both inductors are subjected to the impulse if I use two single tuned filters. Now, look at this circuit of double tuned filter. If there is an impulse, then there is a, only one inductance which is subjected to impulse. Which one? Which one? No, the answer you gave for single tune should be can be used to give the answer for this. Huh? L1. It is L1 because L2 is across the capacitor. So, L2 is across the capacitor. So, if there is an impulse, only L1 needs to be designed for uh, the impulse. So, that that advantage is there. Of course, there are a few other advantages. One can I mean get into the details and try to show that the power loss at fundamental frequency is considerably reduced in the double tuned filter. So, we will not get into all those details, but there are some advantages. So, this is a double tuned filter. Okay. 
Now the question is, uh, <coughs> how is how is this double tuned filter supposed to behave? See, in the case of single tuned filter, so if I take a single tuned filter, suppose I plot the magnitude of the uh, impedance of the filter as a function of frequency. Okay. So, it is somewhat like this, there is at one value I get a minimum value of impedance. What is that minimum value for single tuned filter? Huh? What is this value? The minimum value of the filter impedance for a single tuned filter at some frequency it is minimum. Huh? Resonant frequency, what is the value of the impedance? It is equal to R, it is R that is all, it is just R. Okay, The effect of inductance and uh, I mean the, re induct uh, the reactances of uh, inductor and capacitor will be same at the resonant frequency. Now for a double tuned filter, the graph is like this, if I plot as a function of frequency the magnitude of the filter impedance, then I get 2 minima, instead of 1 minima I get 2 minima. So, it is somewhat like this, okay. so again these uh, 2 values of frequency at which I have minima are uh, known as the resonant frequencies, so these 2 are called resonant frequencies. So, what I would ask you to do is try to get an expression for the resonant frequencies. Of course, one can make a uh, simplification, neglect R. See, neglecting R means, what is meant by neglecting R? R is, huh? no, from the context you should try to make out uh, what is meant by neglecting R, open circuit, infinite impedance. Neglecting R means, it, uh, R has uh, infinite value. So, if I neglect R, then it becomes very simple. Then at the resonant frequency, what will be the impedance? If I neglect R, it will be 0, it will be 0. So, try to find the expression for the resonant frequencies uh, uh, by neglecting R. But when I have more than uh, one frequency is to be damped, I cannot be using only tuned filters. So, what I will do is, instead of using many tuned filters, we will restrict our number of tuned filters and use one uh, uh, another filter called damped filter. So, it is a high pass filter that means all the high frequencies will pass through that. A damped filter is like this, it has a capacitance, inductance and a resistance connected across the inductor, the resistance is connected across the inductor. So, if you look at this <coughs> plot of magnitude of impedance as a function of frequency, so here suppose okay, let me call this capacitance L, inductance capacitance C, inductance L, resistance R. So, here as the frequency increases, the impedance decreases, reaches a minimum then slightly increases and approaches a value. Okay. So, it is essentially having a very low impedance for all frequencies beyond a certain value. So, beyond a certain value of frequency, it will have very low impedance. Now, this is in contrast uh, with uh, the tuned filters where the impedance is low at only uh, a small uh, range of frequency around the resonant frequency. So, it will approach some value. What is the value? 
So, the magnitude of the impedance approaches some value, what is that? It will approach some value, what is that? As frequency tends to infinity, what is the limit of magnitude of ZF? Look at the circuit, R, it is R, okay. L becomes an open circuit, C becomes a short circuit, so it is R. So, it is essentially having a constant uh, impedance for all frequencies beyond a certain value. So, we can use a few single tuned filters, undamped filter or double tuned filters, undamped filter, any combinations, 